Molly Hatchet guitarist Steve Holland has died. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. He was the last surviving member of that original lineup of Molly Hatchet. Of course, he was on that first Molly Hatchet album from 1978, which featured Dreams I'll Never See. And of course, their breakthrough in 1979, Flirtin' with Disaster, featuring the title song, And It's All Over Now. They had the follow-up in 1980, Beating the Odds, featuring that title song and The Rambler. A year later, Take No Prisoners, featuring Power Play and Bloody Reunion. And No Guts, No Glory from 1983. That would be his last with the band. He was born in Alabama, started playing guitar when he was around eight years old with Booker T and the MGs and Green Onions. As a template, Gator Country released the following statement today. It is with great sadness that I announce the passing of original Molly Hatchet band, Gator Country band co-founder, lead guitarist Steve Holland. Steve was the last man standing and has joined the rest of his fellow band brothers up in heaven. Steve's health has been on a downward spiral for a while. The first one I bought was Flirting with Disaster. I was in a record store and at first I, I thought, is that Skinner? Because of course they were of the ilk. But I looked up and remember behind the counter in record stores, they'd always have the album. And I looked up and I'm going, what a cool album cover. Because, of course, all Molly Hatchet albums had a certain theme, right? Had similar concepts. May he rest in peace. We didn't know his age. They didn't release anything or his cause of death. When we find out, we'll put it in the description of this video. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rocky Stream Music. Take care of yourself.